this Friday morning and today we're going to learn a really simple recipe that we can make tonight, which is mm -hmm. going to be fantastic. Michelle from the blog Blackberry Bay, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So tell us what we're going to whip up today. We're going to make a super easy turkey scallopini recipe. Okay. So this recipe can happen entirely in one skillet, which is great. So it's super easy cleanup, and it's one of my favorite weeknight recipes. You can make it in a little less than 30 minutes. It sounds super fancy. If it's, you add scallopini to the end of it, right. it's got to be fancy. I just hear it's, scallop, and I think that there's scallops in it, but that's no not No scallops, okay. right? No scallops. Uh, and it, it actually, it's a lot easier than it sounds. So it's something that you can't impress people with, <laughs> but you're not going to put in the sort of effort that you think you have to. So. All right. right. Very yeah. nice. Well, let's get started with the main ingredient, which is the turkey. So tell us about this. Yeah, so this recipe, the primary ingredient is honeysuckle white turkey cutlets. These are actually um, turkey breast portions. And so I like to use them because they're super high protein. They're actually usually higher protein per gram than chicken breast, which most people don't know. Um, and Honeysuckle White, as a brand, they've actually cho chosen to not Let's use see. any growth-promoting antibiotics. And so this is my go-to lean protein for weeknight dinners. Very nice. Okay, and then you were t uh, telling me a little bit earlier about a tour on this farm. We'll talk about that a little bit later yes, on in the absolutely. show. It's really interesting to actually know where this comes from. Yes, so you're able to share that with mm -hmm. us. Um, let's talk about the other ingredients that we're going to add in this. So this is actually fairly simple. There are two steps to this recipe. First, you're going to brown the turkey in the skillet. You have um, pretty simple, I actually already did this. You have to put the turkey under saran wrap and then use your kitchen mallet to thin it out. And you might say, oh, this is an extra step. I don't want to yeah. do it. But it actually saves you some time because it thins it out, it quickens up the cooking process, and it evens out the turkey fillets. And so you don't have different levels of doneness in your turkey. Okay. So it's all done consistently the same way through. After that, and I will just, we're just going to go ahead and get started. Okay. That's um, what all that hammering was before. That's huh? what all that hammering was. <laughs> that's what you were hearing when you guys were trying to work. I know. <laughs> yeah. uh, so after that, I have a really simple uh, breading here. I don't like to bread these too heavily. You know, some scallopini recipes have that super thick, crunchy breading. Yeah. I like something simpler. So this is uh, just flour, garlic powder, salt and pepper, super simple. And then you drop it into the skillet with some butter. And I need to turn that up. Um, okay. These will go for about four to five minutes on each side. And I always like to say, use your time wisely, especially for a weeknight dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, you really, really want to have, you know, use your time wisely. You don't have to prep all these other ingredients for your sauce yeah. before this turkey. You have about 10 minutes to work with to get your lemon juice, your capers, everything ready to go for the sauce. Very nice. Okay, so you put it in there. You said four mm -hmm. to five minutes on four to five about minutes each side. side. And mm -hmm. while that's cooking, we can work on the sauce. Right. Okay, very right. nice. So we're going to work on the sauce here a little bit later on in the mm. show. But tell us a little bit about that trip sure. to the turkey farm because knowing where your food comes from important to a lot of people. It is exceptionally important. It's important to me when I'm feeding my family. Uh, I was able to visit the Honeysuckle White Farm in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And the thing that a lot of people don't know about um, commercial farming and, and you know, large production of meat is that everyone does it a little different. Uh, Honeysuckle White has chosen to work with independent family farmers only. So they have 700 independent family farmers all over the U.S. who are growing turkeys for them. So I was able to visit one of them in Virginia, uh, Glenn and Sherry, and they welcomed me uh, and several other food bloggers mm -hmm. like me to come tour the property, which is gorgeous. It's kind of in the foothills. It's yeah. very scenic. And we actually got to go in the turkey barns, see how the turkeys were raised. We got to talk to the veterinarians that work with the turkeys and make sure that they're healthy, uh, that they're not getting sick, right. and then talk to them about their family. So that was really great. That's awesome. Yeah. That's fantastic because you're now, you feel so much more confident in promoting this that you use in your own house and then sharing it with others on your blog, knowing right. where it comes from, exactly. knowing that it's good for your family. Exactly. It's, a, it's awesome. always